guys, it's Savers here, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Spooshomatic. The Spooshomatic is a weapon that you gain at level 7, and it has the curling bombs, and it has the, um, it has splashdown as a special. So we're getting ready to hop into a game here, as, a, as you can see, and yeah, we're gonna get... So about four months ago, I made a review that wasn't the best. Now, now instead of redoing that video, I decided to start the whole. I decided to start the whole series all over again. But instead of starting with the Spooshomatic, I decided to start with the first weapon type you get. You get in the game, the splatter shots. In this video, I will be reviewing every single splatter shot in the game, except for the hero shot and the splatter shot pro. So let's start with the first splatter shot that you get. The Splattershot Jr. Now the Splattershot Jr. can be seen as a noob weapon for most players, but in my eyes it's a bomb launching beast if you know how to use the bomb properly. Also it has a, it has a big ink tank that is only exclusive to the Splattershot Jr. class. Anyways, it's a pretty good weapon. If you say my bomb throwing baby is a noob weapon ever, and I mean ever again, I will roast your little Crayola Blaster and burn it on live TV. Oh yeah, and this weapon is probably one of the most useful specials in this game. Bubble Girl is way better. The next weapon is the Splattershot's Jr. weird stepsister, the Custom Splattershot Jr. The Custom Splattershot Jr. is not the best. It literally has a post-editing or pat future saviors here, whatever you want to call me. I kind of forgot to record for the with the Custom Splattershot Jr. So uh, enjoy some normal Splattershot Jr. clips while I just talk about the Custom Splattershot Jr. Uh, yeah. Literally the Splattershot Jr. but Sheldon decided to add some stickers and add the word custom and decided to sell it. And it was a waste of money. <clears throat> but it has kitty dogs that always give me inter Inner Agent 3 flashbacks. And it was another useful special for being Rain. And I'm pretty sure that Nogami took out Ink Strike for Rain! Oh yeah, we also have the Booyah Bomb. Oh right, we also have the Booyah Bomb, which is the same thing but less overpowered. And I wish that they just brought the Ink Strike back. But, anyways, now we have the vanilla splatter shot. Probably the most generic weapon in Splatoon 2. And in 1. And 1. Also, Nogami, bring back the old splatter shot design. No one likes the new one, trust me. Anyways, the splatter shot has burst bombs, which is good if you have a burst bomb launcher. But if you're just using normal burst bombs, it can be a bit harder. But I throw one burst bomb, then push. And it never works. So, the splatter shot. So the splatter shot has splashdown as its special, and okay, let's just say I use my R stick as a panic button. Now we have some of the brand splatter shots, and the first brand splatter shot is the tent attack splatter shot. This is literally the original splatter shot, but tent attack says, "Let's just slap our brand logo on it and call it a day." The tent attack splatter shot has the best bombs in the game, be game being splat bombs, and I've already talked about splat bombs earlier. So why don't we just talk? about the special. The Tentatex special is the inkjet that Fortnite stole. Now let's just say I suck at the inkjet. I'm probably the worst player ever to touch it. The next brand splatter shot is the Tony Kinson splatter shot junior. This weapon used to be my main before I realized the OG splatter shot junior was better. The Kinson splatter shot junior has torpedoes which is a bomb that pursues your enemy and explodes when it hits them. And if your enemy doesn't die by the first hit, the torpedo will make many explosions near the enemy. But you see, if the torpedo gets shot, it will break. And you do not understand how many times my torpedo has broke. Because of these, because of these stupid players always breaking my bomb. Now we have the Tony Kinsa splatter shot. So basically, Tony Kinsa took the pink, the pink pieces of duct tape from the, from the original splatter shot from the original splatter shot and covered them with flat tape and put and put their logo on it and made them more expensive. The Tony Kansas splatter shot has suction bombs in itself. And according to the testing range, the suction bomb does 220 damage, being the most powerful bomb in the game. The special is 10 missiles that can shoot way that can shoot way more than four missiles at an opponent. Because Nolami says there's never enough missiles. And for the final splatter shot, the Octo Shot. The Octo Shot is only accessible to people who have beaten the Octo Expansion. Before I go into the sub and special of this weapon, I have a question for you. Why did you make us cry our way through the Octo Expansion just for an Octo Shot? 
In Splatoon 1, all you had to do was just beat the campaign mode. Why? Why couldn't we just get the Octoshot after beating the hero mode for Splatoon 2? Why no Gami? Anyways, the Octoshot has the Splat Bomb, which once again is the best bomb in my opinion. The Octoshot also has the Inkjet, which I suck at, and also... You, do you notice a pattern with the Octoshot and the Tennis Hot Splatter Shot? Yeah, me too, it's weird, right? Well, we sort of reviewed every Splatter Shot in Splatoon 2. I plan on doing another video for the Splatter Shot Pro. It may be shorter than this one because there isn't quite as many. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more gaming videos like this. Also, thank you guys for 70 plus subs. You're almost to 100. See, bye guys.